Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a 2D object look like it's spinning in 3D. In this particular case, we're going to be making this beer can spin. Alright, let's get started. So, I'm starting out with a composition that has a blank can in it. I've already got the can designed over in this other composition I've named Beer Label. When designing your own label, or whatever it is you're trying to rotate, it's important to make sure that it loops. Otherwise, you'll have a weird seam when you rotate past the end of the design. This one's already set up to loop, so we're good to go. So back in my main comp, I'm going to bring in the beer label design, and then I'm just going to line it up to the can how I want it to be placed. Then I'll go up to Effect, Stylize, CC Repetile. Repetile will tile your layer left, right, up, or down. It's super handy for something like this. So I'm going to expand right the label a good bit just so I have room to let it slide. And you can see when I drag my layer, it's repeated here. So now I'm going to drag the beer label down below the glare layer I've created here. And then I'm going to duplicate the can fill and drag it above the beer label. Now I just need to go into the can fill and isolate it so all I have is this rectangle here to act as a mat for the beer label. So I've isolated it down to just that rectangle so now I just need to set the beer label as an alpha mat. Now it's time to get animating. I'm going to go up to layer, new, null object and I'm going to drag that up to the top of my layer stack and call it can control one. Then I'm going to drag this null object to the bottom left corner of the can. And I'm going to turn off this ground line so I can see it a little bit easier. With that null object in place, I'm going to duplicate it so that I have a second null object. And I'm going to drag the second null object all the way over to the right corner. Then I'm going to parent the can control one to the can control two. Next, I'll grab all of the can design stuff, so the stroke, the glare, the label, and the fill, and I'm going to parent all that to can control one. Then I'll turn back on the ground line, and I'll zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to pull up the position and rotation of can control one, so I'll hit P on the keyboard to reveal position, and then I'll hold shift R to bring up rotation while leaving position still up. I'll move my playhead over to about one second and I'll set keyframes for both of these properties. Then I'll change the rotation value to negative five. I'll bring my playhead over to zero frames and I'll set the rotation back down to zero and I'll move my X position so it's all the way off the screen. Then I'll bring my playhead over to one second and three frames or frame 33 and I'll set the rotation back down to zero. I'll highlight both the keyframes at one second and I'll right click and go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. Then using our Under the Influence script, I'm going to set the outgoing influence to 75 and the incoming to 100. Now I'll pull up the rotation of Can Control 2 and I'll set a keyframe for rotation at 103 and then I'll move over to 106 and set a keyframe for three degrees. I'll move three more frames forward and I'll set this back down to zero. I'll also set a keyframe on can control one's rotation for zero degrees. Then I'll move two frames forward and set a keyframe for can control one for negative one degrees. I'll go two more frames forward and I'll set a keyframe for zero degrees on can control one. Then I'll highlight these middle two keyframes in the rotation and I'll easy ease these. Using two nulls to keyframe the rotation this way allows us to rotate from two different pivot points, which we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. When I ran preview now, you can see that most of the animation is already done. Now we just need to move the beer label so it looks like the can is spinning. So I'll pull up the position of the beer label and I'll set a keyframe at frame zero for right where it is. Then I'll come all the way over to one second and I will move the X position just so it spins a good bit. So maybe somewhere around here where we end up right on the word beer. And then I'll use under the influence to set the influence of this keyframe to 100% so that it matches the sliding in. And that wraps it up. Time to crack open a beer and celebrate. 
Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.